Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Friday Forum, but it's not our Friday Forum. Today, we have a special, very special event for you, and I'm really pleased that you could join us virtually. Today, we will be having our employee recognition ceremony. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This is the first ever, uh, first ever virtual Fresno City College employee recognition ceremony. And for many of you who have been part of this, you know that we have a chocolate fountain when we come together. Uh, we can't have a chocolate fountain, but you know what? We have a virtual chocolate fountain as we come together and celebrate uh, today together. So um, I'd like to take a moment and um, really introduce somebody who has been part of this campus for many years. Uh, you all know him, uh, but now I'd like to introduce our very own Vice President of Instruction, Mr. Don Lopez. Welcome, hello. So uh, I'd like to talk about uh, our Emeriti faculty. Um, first of all, I wanna congratulate all the faculty that have reached this level that have become uh, recognized as Emeriti faculty. So from our, <clears throat> wow, that's a bad picture. <laughs> so from the uh, Allied Health Physical Education Athletics uh, area, uh, Carol Cadingo uh, with 34 years of service. Congratulations, Carol. From the business division, Marilyn Berenger uh, was also the division dean for a long time and the vice president at Reedley College for 24 and a half years of service with us. Thank you, Marilyn. Congratulations. From the counseling division, Linda Mendez, 17 years of service. Congratulations, Linda. Of course, the infamous Mike Dana. Fine Performing and Communication Arts, 36 years of service. Lynn Campbell from Humanities with 20 years of service. Congratulations, Lynn. And then from Math, Science and Engineering, Dr. Peter Mazur, 17 years of service. Congratulations, Pete. And last but certainly not least, Susan Holford, Social Sciences, 27 years of service. Congratulations, Susan. Back to Dr. Goldsmith. Well, hello again. I think, again, I wanna thank all of our um, faculty who are now part of our Ameritai uh, ranks. Um, I know many of you continue to be uh, leaders in the community and continue to serve and support Fresno City College. I just want to thank you all again for your years of service and ongoing support of our college. So uh, it's my distinct honor to talk a little bit and uh, acknowledge all of the retirees for this year. But before I read the names um, of many of whom are um, not only leaders in their area and supporters of the college, but I think it's important to think about the thousands of students these individuals have touched the lives of thousands of students, improving their lives um, in ways that we can only begin to imagine. So on behalf of the faculty and staff here and all of the students for all of your contributions, we say thank you and we are in a debt for your service to our college. Starting off, is Gary Bluth. Gary has worked with us for over 28 years as the head of our cross country team. You can probably still find him running on the trails. Congratulations, Gary, and thank you for your years of service. Next up, Jean Carroll in the humanities. 19 years of service helping students refine their English skills and helping many of our uh, first uh, in some of our dreamer students as well as many of their families. Thank you so much for your continued support and years of service to our students. Ron Shakura, uh, this gentleman has had 24 years of service helping students under, uh, understand the, the science behind uh, design and thank you for helping so many students launch their careers. 
Next up, Ken Chavez from EOPNS. 38 years of service, my hat is off to you. Thank you for the thousands of students you helped uh, navigate the complex system that we have. Thank you, Ken. Laura de Santa Gomez, also a counselor, 20 years working with CalWORKs, helping our students reach their dreams by moving out of poverty and into prosperity. Thank you, Laura. Monta Denver, Ms. Denver, thank you for helping literally, again, thousands of our students find a career in a very well paying job as health hygienist. Um, and teaching our students about dental health care. Thank you so much for your years of service. Deborah Irvin, 40 years of service in the fine and performing arts. You can't think of a theatrical product, project that you didn't help influence and the look of our theater productions are absolutely stunning because of your leadership. Thank you so much for your years of service. Kathleen Irvin. Kathleen has been in our social sciences teaching our students about the careers and how to be better parents in our early childhood education programs. Thank you for taking care of not only our littlest ones, but also their parents and our students. Thank you and enjoy your retirement. Abe Flores has been a custodian for us for 21 years, uh, helping clean this campus and keeping it healthy and safe. Thank you, Abe, for your 21 years of service. Kathy Ferrari. Uh, Kathy has been working with our international students programs. While she hasn't been here a long time, she certainly has made her impact here. And so many of our students, both far and wide, know that you care. Thank you, Kathy. Terry Galagos. Terry also started off uh, I think in the bookstore, but uh, ended with us as an instructional assistant. Thank you, Terry, for your years of service. Barbara Hinkle. Uh, Barbara, if you've gone into the health services office, you ran into Barbara, always with a smile, always trying to help students and faculty alike. Thank you so much for your years of service. Greg Hubbard in Applied Tech. You know, you've helped so many of our students see the world differently as a photography instructor. Your presence and your impact on our students uh, are to be commended. Thank you so much. Susan Johnson was a senior uh, program assistant, uh, most recently in the police and fire academies. Susan, I hope you're watching on this live. Thank you so much for helping all of our police cadets get through the program. We miss your smile and I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Susan. Clay Lewis also worked in the bookstore sales assistant, uh, always meeting our faculty and students with a smile and trying to help them find the right book and services. Clay, we really appreciate all you've done uh, as the bookstore transitioned and we appreciate everything you did to try to help our students. This lady here, Dr. Peg Marigal, wow, 21 years of advocating on the behalf of the social sciences, faculty and students. Your legacy will continue for many, many years as you are working on our uh, guidance for our deans. Your presence will continue to be felt for many, many years. And I say this in all sincerity, this college owes you a great deal of gratitude for your steadfast advocacy on behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of Fresno City College. Dr. Marigal, enjoy your retirement. Dr. Jill Miner, uh, 20 years of service in the sociology area, specifically in the anthropology. We owe a special debt of thanks to Jill Miner. Uh, Dr. Miner worked on our uh, making sure our Indian remains that were not um, treated with the utmost respect, remain dignified in how we repatriate and give those burial items back to our Indian reservations and our Indian partners. Jill, you have led with um, grace and you've been so sensitive and respectful. Thank you for all the work that you've done to help bridge um, 
a hurt relationship with our Indian um, Native American reservations. This institution and this district will do you a special debt of gratitude. Thank you, Dr. Meyer. Jose Munez, also a custodian, uh, helping to keep our buildings clean, especially during this COVID crisis and pandemic. Thank you so much for the work that you've done. Again, I'm gonna miss your smile and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Shauna Munez, uh, English instructor, uh, working in the humanities division. Thousands of students now can communicate and write better and have a greater appreciation of the English language because of you. So thank you, Shauna. Thank you very much. Edwin Reed, also a custodian. Uh, again, we continue to thank you, Edwin, for all the work that you've done over the years. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best in retirement. Michael Richards, also lead custodian. Thank you again for helping to coordinate our efforts during the COVID crisis and the years before. Thank you so much. Jeanette Santelian, our bookstore buyer. And uh, thank you for your service as we transitioned. Um, we're gonna miss you and wish you all the very best in your retirement. Mary Smith. Again, our college nurse in health services, thank you for keeping us healthy and also making sure our students have the information they need about their own health and wellness. Thank you, Mary. Dr. Dipna Urgurju, Fine and Performing Arts, a journalism instructor for 26 years, a distinguished author. Your presence will be felt for many years as the rampage will continue to go on and win lots of awards because of your dedication to our program and our students. Thank you so much. And we wish you the very best in your retirement. So 2020 retirees, thank you all for your service. I would be remiss if I didn't also thank uh, a few other uh, folks in the library and in the photography department that decided to uh, stay with us a little bit longer. I wanna say thank you and I know I'll see you next year as you retire, but thank you for your continued service. To all the retirees, we wish you all the very best. Don't be a stranger. Please continue to come see us and support us through these next through challenging years. Thank you. So thank I'd you, like Dr. To... Oh, I'm sorry, Don, I cut, out, cut you off. I'm gonna try. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Don. So. So I'd like to go through uh, the <clears throat> service awards for the Office of Instruction. And Sean, if I can arrive. Wow, again, let's not ever use that picture again, please. <laughs> Erica Abs, Administrative Assistant, five years of service. Rebecca Bennis, uh, English instructor, five years of service. Kevin Callahan. Uh, the former coordinator for the police academy, five years of service, and now back in social science. Lisa Cartwright, an instructional administrative assistant, five years of service. David Childers, the current director of the Title V program, five years of service. Corey Condry, the arts lab technician, five years of service. Elizabeth Crooks, medical assisting instructor, five years of service. Denise Flores, administrative assistant, five years. Graciela Garcia, food service worker, five years. Caleb Henderson, art instructor, five years. Danette Isom Norman, Coordinator for Early Intervention Child Development, five years. Cheryl Johnson, Education Instructor, five years. Jody Cowago, Chemistry Instructor, five years. Mark Kerfoot, Physics Instructor, five years. Brian Lee, Air Conditioning Instructor, five years. Travis McDonald, mathematics instructor, five years. 
Harmony Negretti, coordinator early event, early intervention, five years. Neil Papavasilu, engineering instructor, five years. Joshua Parker, biology instructor, five years. Jeffrey Santil Santilano, instructor for computer uh, laboratory technician, five years. Charlie C, automotive collision repair out of the CTC, five years. Marina Savitska Barba, chemistry instructor, five years. Kevin Stewart McGee, art instructor, five years. Ruth Van Buren, office specialist, five years. Joseph Voth, English instructor, five years. Peter Wassmiller, paralegal law instructor, five years of service. Rhea Williams, great picture, Rhea. English instructor, five years. Karen Willis, mathematics instructor, five years. Matthew Woods, math instructor, five years of service. Now we move on to our 10 year. Tamara Epperson, accounting instructor, 10 years. Donnie Johnson, athletic equipment manager, 10 years. Jennifer Matunga, box office manager, 10 years. Andrew Rocha, IT customer support technician, 10 years. Cheryl Silva, child nutrition education specialist, 10 years. Dr. Woods, Timothy Woods, Dean of Instruction, 10 years. Seth Yates, chemistry instructor, 10 years. Brett Camacho, welding instructor, 15 years of service. Ken Chacon, English instructor, 15 years of service. Theophilius Davis, hey Theo, welding instructor, 15 years. Nuria Denisaru, biology instructor, 15 years. Karen Gruet, chemistry instructor, 15 years. Rico Guajardo, who's uh, with the uh, Career Technology Education Laboratory Technician, 15 years. Virginia Gutierrez Osborne, Biology, 15 years. Nancy Gutierrez Salcido, Sociology Instructor, 15 years. Tamara Herman, Office Specialist, 15 years. Margaret Hebert, Office of Instruction, English instructor, 15 years. Sean Martin, the lead audio visual specialist, 15 years. Bernard Navarro, Sociology and American Indian Studies instructor, 15 years. Raquel Oaks, Child Development, 15 years. Robert Schmalley, Business Administration and Marketing Instructor, 15 years. Dan Scott, I don't think everyone, anyone's ever heard someone say Daniel, but Dan Scott, for instance, uh, instructor, 15 years. Lorraine Smith, Dean of Instruction for Allied Health, Physical Education and Athletics Division, 15 years. Susanna Sosa, art instructor, 15 years. Christian Valandi, chemistry instructor, 15 years. Polly Begley, communication arts instructor, 20 years. Melanie Bryant, office assistant, two, 20 years. Kathleen Irvin, early childhood education specialist, 20 years. Eileen Gonzalez, nursing instructor, 20 years. 
Robert Martinez, electrical systems instructor, 20 years of service. Todd McLeod, computer information technology instructor, 20 years of service. Cynthia Miner, anthropology instructor, we call her Jill, 20 years. Teresa Patterson, communication arts instructor, 20 years of service. Delfina Sandoval, program assistant for career technical uh, dental hygiene, 20 years of service. Jim Sauce, computer information technology, 20 years. Kathleen Swan, administrative assistant, 20 years. Teresa Tarazi, English instructor, 20 years of service. Marianne Valentino, singer, psychology instructor, 20 years of service. Sharon Ferrer, Spanish instructor, 25 years of service. Debbie Aki, ESL linguistics, 25 years of service. Kelly O'Rourke, Senior Curriculum Analyst. Hi, Kelly. 25 years of service. Thanks for all you do for me. Rosemary Bezerra Nader, Mathematics Instructor, 30 years of service. Cindy Hodges, American Sign Language Instructor, 30 years of service. Rich Palmer, Biology Instructor, 30 years of service. And last but not least, definitely Julie Wen, mathematics instructor, 30 years. So I have to make one apology in all of that. I called Nell Neal. My, my apologies, Nell. Very sorry. Dr. Lataria Hall is next. Thank you, Don. Um, Thank you for your years of service and congratulations to the student services employees. I'm happy to be here today and now I will present the student services service awards. And can we get rid of that photo also? Joanna Arenas, admin assistant, five years of service. Jessica Fisher, Developmental Services Instructor, five years of service. Virginia Herr, Accounting Technician, five years of service. Lily Hernandez, Career Counselor, five years of service. Eleni March, Evaluation Specialist, five years of service. Rodney Murphy, Counselor, five years of service. Tiffany Myers, Counselor Coordinator for DSPS, five years of service. Jeanette Kiddos, Financial Aid Specialist, five years of service. Emily Slater, Director of College Relations and Outreach, five years of service. Amanda Velasquez, Counselor for CalWorks, five years of service. Amy Yocapicio, Instructional Admin Assistant, five years of service. Farooz Rajanad, Counselor, 15 years of service. Kenneth Simeon, Counselor, 15 years of service. Great photo. Janice Wong, Senior Program Specialist, 20 years of service. Sunny Mahav, Mahavan, Maha, Mahavong, Admissions and Records Specialist, 25 years of service, thank you. Mary Mathos, Financial Aid Specialist, 30 years of service. And now I will turn it over to Dr. Robert Pimentel. Hello, everyone. 
Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us today and congratulations to all of the retirees. Uh, thank you for giving us a portion of your life to serve our students. I'll get started with first, the first, uh, the Office of uh, Educational Service and Institutional Effectiveness, uh, five years, Linda Kobashigawa, one of our librarians. Dr. Raymond Ramirez, our Director of Student Equity and Success, five years of service. Becky Zhang, my executive assistant, has been with the district for five years. Laurel Dahl, librarian, 15 years. Renee Kubo has been with us for 30 years. And Linda Jackson, I overheard someone ask her if she had been picked up when she was 15. She has given this district 35 years, senior library technician. I'll hand it over now to uh, Mr. Omar Gutierrez, our Vice President of Administrative Services. Thank you, Dr. Pimentel. And thank you everybody for providing us your time, your effort, not only to us, the faculty and staff, but also to our students. It's a pleasure to present the service awards to the following individuals. For the five year of service uh, award recipients, we have Horacio Alaniz, a custodian for building services. Arthur Balin, also a custodian for building services. Lavelle Hopkins, custodian for building services. Nathan Newsom, utility worker for building services. Anthony Slade, custodian for building services. For our 10 year service awards recipients, we have Ronald Potter, lead custodian for building services. Francis Santillan, custodian for building services. And Eddie Standifer, a custodian for building services. For 15 years of service, we have Ivy Arana, accounting technician for business services. For 25 years of services category, we have Michael Coppage. He's our lead accounting technician for the business services division. We also have Mary Doyle. She's our print media and communications manager, also 25 years. And lastly, in that category, we have Carlos Puente. He's our custodian managers in the business building services division. And last but not least, a 35 year of services category, Henry Polanco, he's a custodian for building services division. Thank you so much. And I hand it over now to Dr. President, Dr. Goldsmith. Thank you, Omar. And thank you all of the vice presidents uh, for helping us celebrate today. I just want to reiterate what we started with and what we've been saying over and over through these last few weeks. This is not how we'd like to come together, uh, but it's certainly important to note that we do want to continue to come together and stay engaged. I just want to thank each and every one of you who were acknowledged today. Um, I want to say if, we're sorry if we pronounced your name wrong because sometimes we do that, but one thing that's not wrong is our respect for you and your work that you do from our classified professionals to our administrators and to our faculty. We owe a debt of gratitude. This whole community does because Fresno City College has been serving this, this community for over hundred years. We are all part of that legacy of service to this, this wonderful community we live in. And I think here lately, we're aware of how connected we really are to one another. So for those retirees, um, we hope that you stay connected to us. Um, we're going to need your thoughts and prayers as we continue to work together through this pandemic and economic uncertainty. We are so blessed to have all of you, everyone who was acknowledged today, and many of those of you who are watching us right now. The only way we are going to come together and stay together and stay vibrant is if we continue to work together. And today we got to acknowledge some champions who've been doing that for years, helping thousands of our students. 
So on those days that you may feel a little down, I want you to look back on your careers and think about how many people you've helped, how many families you have improved by making their academic and educational and career dreams come true. Thousands of people. In fact, our city wouldn't be as where it's at without you. We continue to have conversations and continue to work together. I'm so incredibly proud of each and every one of you and grateful that I get to serve alongside of all of you. So while we can't enjoy lunch together or the chocolate fountain together, I know we will be back together soon. So enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you're having lunch or you're having a little beverage, cheers to all of you. May God bless you and keep you. 